Hotel Stadium will be the site of Florida State as they begin defense of that national crowd. The last time on game day in a locker room, they were celebrating. Here they are tonight getting ready for BYU. Bobby Bowden starting his silver anniversary season, and he'll start it with a second-ranked team in the country in the Advantage Pigskin Classic from Jacksonville against the Cougars of Brigham Young. Florida State's got it teed up. Matt Munyon, a redshirt freshman kicker. There is no Sebastian Janikowski anymore. You wonder if Florida State knows how to cover a kick. <laughs> That's good. Mike Rogel is the deep man at the goal line for BYU. And there's Brett Engelman waiting his chance. His first start at quarterback is moments away. So the ABC college football season is at hand, and we are underway in Jacksonville. Rogel, two yards deep, will bring it out. Got a little crease that closed in a hurry as he tumbles forward to about the 17-yard line. And we take a look at the advantage. Starting lineups, the biggins up front in front of Engelman. Skukanik is the center, Whiting and Belgarts in the guards, Reichert and Archibald the tackles. Jonathan Pittman, Margin Hooks is their big play man, Ofa Hengawi, their returning tight end. And here's the backfield, Luke Staley back off an injury, they're very high on him. Kalani Sataki coming off a broken leg, and Brett Engelman. Got to have some butterflies right now when you're going against a Florida State defense. He'll take his first snap as a starter from the 18-yard line. It's been five years since Ingeman started the game. That's way back in high school. He's going to throw on first down, and he's going long. Got a man out there. Just overshot margin hooks. Florida State. Here's how the Knowles look up front. There's been some injuries. Alonzo Jackson in there for David Warren. Reynolds a normal starter. Woods and Emmanuel trying to take over for the great ones they had at tackle a year ago. Kendall Pope, a true freshman, starts in there for Thomas Polly tonight. Jennings and Allen are the other two backers. This secondary is a tough one. Great corners in Cleavon Thomas and Tay Cody. Pope and Gibson are the safety. BYU went right after those corners. First play. They know how to beat Florida State, and you've got to make big plays outside. Two tight ends set here for the Cougars on second and ten. Engeman has time across the middle in and out of the hands of his tight end and almost intercepted. From the 18. And it's Horton in motion to the top of your screen. Engeman goes short over the middle. He's got his man Staley on the run out of the backfield. And he got out to the 22-yard line. Back in punt return formation, but they're bringing the heat. He got it away. End over end kick, and Bolden will have a chance from the 41. Bolden across midfield and down to the 45-yard line. At the 50-yard line. Here's the advantage. Starting lineup for Florida State. The Biggins, Moon at center, Duhart, and Allen. The guards, Williams and Thomas, uh, the tackles. Three wideouts in Morgan, Minnis, and Anquan Bolden, who just returned that punt. McCray, back after an injured season a year ago, will lead the way for Travis Miner. And in his third starting year at quarterback, number 16, Chris Winkie looks for Florida State to come out with a no huddle offense him, Billy, and a hurry up offense. So they start in BYU territory just outside the 45. Winkie pump fake wants to go long for minutes. And he stretches out and almost had it at the five. Danny Phillips, nice job. Was right there with him. Now on the ground, pickup of maybe two for Travis Miner. Defensively for BYU, they're strong against the run, and they're tough up front because of these guys. Olsen and Hoke inside, Nolly and Denny are the defensive ends. The linebackers are big. Anna, Holtry, and Kelly. Secondary suspect, as Bob said, especially Phillips and Staley on the corners with Lee and Smith, the safeties. And here comes the throw, and it's Minnis with a first down, and he stretches inside the 30 to the 29. Tyson Smith. Florida State with a no huddle. And Winky. Whoa! Boy, did he get level. He took a knee because he thought he drew off Chris Hope. Come on, Al. Well, we'll get the call. Personal foul on the Cougars. They've got it at the 16-yard line. Miner hitting the backfield. Going to lose yardage way back near the 20. And from the shotgun is Winky. of minutes again at the 10-yard line. Got him yeah, it is. It really is. Winky on a roll. On third and long. Pumps and waits. Running out of time. And real estate throws back across his body. Touchdown! Got Morgan. I'll make it Javon Walker in the corner. And 
the extra point is up and wide. And there's that kicker, Munyon. As we said, nothing's easy right now for Florida State with their special teams. This one probably should have never been put up there, but Chris Winkie will take it back across his body, and Walker goes high for the touchdown. Shorter kick. Rogel's got a run up on it at the eight yard line. Straight up the middle, got out near the 25. First down for the Cougars from their own 25. Engelman pump fakes one way, wants to throw back a screen the other to Staley, and FSU had that smelled out. Flags fly in at the end. And that is the call. And they can ill afford to lose him. Right now, single setback is the fullback, Kalani Sataki. The throw complete. Dropped in his tracks is Mike Rogel. So here's another third and long situation. We'll see Engelman from the gun on third down and eight from the 27. Stands tall in the pocket and rifles it. In and out of the hands is going to be a pass interference here on Cleveland Thomas, I think. Pass interference. Defense. Spot foul. Automatic first down. First down from the 40. And contact made at the line of scrimmage. Prior to the snap. Encroachment with contact. Defense. Five-yard penalty. Still first down. And you can see Mickey Andrews was not happy. Not at all. High snap, and now it's a draw play. And a run out near midfield. We're done. We're done. He is the one guy FSU wants to stop. Second and less than a yard. Play fake. Maybe they want it all right here. Deep out, but nobody home. Flags down. They may call holding on Florida State. And there it is, holding defense. I'll take, I'll take the hold instead of a touchdown. So three defensive penalties, another first down by penalty. Angelman comes up, throwing Sataki complete. And it's the same two guys out there. Hey, Lavelle knew this kid looks pretty good. Second and five. He drops to throw again over the middle. In and out of the hands of Bradley Jennings trying to pick it off. He's not a young quarterback either, but he is experienced wise. Third and five. Staley's hitting the backfield, spins away, flags are down, he goes down, may have lost a yard. Illegal procedure against the Cougars. Safe punt, that's, uh, nobody go back, just make sure they don't uh, do a trick on us. Edmonds trying to head it to the sideline, are they going to get there? Touchback. Almost. Four wide outs for Winky. Chris has a look over the middle, menace again, another first down. And Snoop four to the inside, but uh, completion nonetheless. Quickly, they come up throwing again. Anquan Bolden showing some of those moves that people... Let's rush him and get him on the ground. Second in the yard, Winky, flushed from the pocket, pump fakes. Again, throws on the run that way and throws this one away. On a third and short, we saw this a lot of times last year for Florida State. The toss to Travis Miner, trying to sweep it. Can BYU stretch it out? They can. And they drop him for a loss. Veteran putter inside his own 30. Okay, men. It's a beauty of a kick. Rogal's going to feel it at the 13. Got to away from two. And across the 20. He just, he, that guy is something else. Angerman drops to throw, stumbles a bit. Fires low, but that is incomplete. Second down at 10. Two tight end group for the Cougars. Engelman, oh, he had one of those tight ends open. Engelman, four out of nine so far on the night. He'll work from the shotgun. Stands and waits his safety valve out in the flat. Found a man, Stearns, and Stearns trying to weave for a first down, but he won't get there. Got out to about the 30, about three yards short. Trying to keep it away from Bolden to the near side. And this could be a pretty good kick with the roll. Now it goes inside the 30. We're here just outside Altel Stadium in Jacksonville. Penalty marker down as prior to the snap. Illegal substitution on the offense. 12 men lined up for a snap. Five yard penalty. So that backs the Knowles up on a first and 15 now. Here's a swing pass. That's pass. a lateral. It's a double pass. It's not going to be, though. Davey Ford finally does throw, and it's almost intercepted. He probably should have pulled that down and kept it. Tried to get the ball to Morgan. Good coverage by uh, the corners. Second and 15. Here's a guy to put the hands to it. 
Walker, who has the touchdown, and he's back to the original line of scrimmage. A lot of talent. Got three of them out there right now for Wanky on third and ten. Chris waits, got hit as he threw, and finds his man, Atrews Bell. And he rings out to the 48-yard line. Nice little comeback by Bell to get the first down out at the 48-yard line. Wanky fires the out. And a penalty marker down. Ineligible receiver downfield. A receiver was covered by the wideout. Five-yard penalty. Still first down. They spread the ball around, read better, and then take advantage more of what the defense gives you. Travis Miner gets across midfield near the 49-yard line. And <laughs> yeah. Some big shoes to fit. The talent is there. And here is a guy that they obviously are going to get the ball to. Javon Walker, that's his third catch of the night. Quite a target. has got, got another him. first down at the 39. <laughs> Wanky throws to the near side. And that's his other favorite target tonight. Menace. High formation this time, and just a straight pitch to Travis Miner. Broke a tackle. Got to the 25. Nifty little run. That's what I'd like to see with this entire squad. Here he comes again. Broke a tackle. Weaves his way to a first down, it appears. Travis numbers from a year ago. Second team all ACC with those 815 yards, and he's coming wide. This time bottled up. Wanky changes things up on a second down and eight. Tenth play of the drive. Chris looks left, comes back right, and a little bit high. Yeah. Had a man open. It play action right down the middle. Incomplete. Nice hit at the five, and now flag flies in. And that's going to be automatic first down. He knows the value of defense. McCray, the up man, the fullback in the eye, the toss to Cheney. Cuts back. Got near the two. But they say this could be one of the best offensive lines in school history. Second and goal. Winky drops to throw. Going to go to the corner. Touchdown. Eight trues bell. A guy that needed more tickets than anybody on the Seminole team. The butterflies are out of the way. And okay, he nails this one. kick Miguel at the nine on the run cuts back to the left only got to about the 18 yard line so now it's the Cougars from their own 18 and hit from behind fumble in Florida State it's still scooting around who's got it I think the Cougars may have gotten back on the bottom the ball went all the way to the end zone and it's a safety. Back deep, Nick Maddox and Anquan Bolden. Hotchman got a nice leg on this thing. Maddox at the 10 yard line. Comes up the sideline across the 30. And a nice return. They've just hit on every. They haven't huddled yet. They're, they're, they want to hurry up and get this thing over with. Play fake by Winky and throws on the roll. Got it out to Robert Morgan. Morgan, nice cutback and got to the 45-yard line. I wanted to graduate, and I wanted an opportunity to defend the national championship. He's got that opportunity. He's making the most of it in game one, I'll tell you that much. And now this is his fourth year at Florida State, and his third year starting. Here's the draw play, inside handoff. Travis Miner. Miner, second and four. Travis giving some ground and giving up too much. Nice play to stay with it by Isaac Kelly. Here's where the Cougars really have to make a play. Third down has been owned by Winky, and it's third and 13. Look out. Got rid of it just as he was hit. Moments here in the first quarter. Florida State 15 to nothing. High kick. Fair catch taken. Charlie Peterson is in there now, the second string quarterback. They said good play this evening. Charlie's first toss, little slip screen to the outside margin, Hooks, and Hooks gets away out across the 30 of first down and a pickup of 15. And he has very, very limited experience as well. The handoff 
Sataki, the fullback, and he takes it to about the 34-yard line. ABC Sports presentation of the Advantage Pigskin Classic will continue after this message and a word from our ABC stations. With Bob Greasy and Lynn Swan, I'm Brad Nessler. Nice to have you along with us for the start of our college football season on ABC. Peterson, play action, getting some pressure, trying to get rid of it. And it seems like he's moving freely out there. He checks out on third and six. And the Cougars from the gun, both wide outs to the top of your screen. Flags are down as Peterson delivers a strike. And it's going to be a first down to Pittman, depending. There is no foul on the play. But BYU's got a little something working here. Yeah. Peterson, three-step drop, hit as he throws. Almost intercepted by Cleavon Thomas. Had he held it, he would have been gone. Yep. Peterson, I don't know if it's going to be a hold or a late hit. It's a holding call on BYU. For Charlie Peterson on a first and 20 for Brigham Young. Short throw incomplete, intended for Ben Horton. And, and I got a little bit more to tell you after this play. I'd be dead already because I wouldn't drink that stuff. Second and 20, Peterson in a pickle. <laughs> Across the field incomplete. <laughs> Third and 20, loose ball. <laughs> Peterson got back on top. He's a dangerous return man if he gets his hands on it. And he should have a chance at this one. Anquan from the 37 on the run. To midfield. Bolden almost into BYU territory. About a guy away. Four wide outs for Chris Wenke from the shotgun. BYU thinking about bringing some pressure. They back out of it. Winky has it hit in the air and incomplete. So BYU is uh, not getting any breaks on the field. No position. Winky, nice play fake, sets up, wants it all. Deep ball, threw it too far in front of Snoop Mittis. Those are the types you like to lay up a little bit more, pull him to the center of the field, just make sure he catches it. Third and ten. Winky, quick slant, got it to Bolden. I don't know if he got the first down or not. A little bit short, it appears. No. Ray, the fullback, minor, the tail. See if Wanky just leans forward. Nope, he's going to throw it. And completes it to Bolden. First down. Talk about having confidence in your quarterback. They could have knocked that down. First down at the BYU 27. Again, play action. Wanky steps up in the pocket. Now he shows that he's lost that weight. He's going to take off on the run. First down and a bunch more. They huddle for one of the very few times on the night on a first and goal at the six. Here's a toss and end around. Bell with the lead blocker, his quarterback, touchdown! The bell rings again. Atrus and an end around from six. Passes. Matt Munyon, extra point is up and good. So the fella who grew up here, played his high school ball in Jacksonville, is a star so far tonight. This is his second trip to the end zone. It is hot out here. Mm -hmm. Florida State obviously is much more used to it. Munyon. Kick to Regal at the five. And he's cut down as a flag flies. Illegal block on the return. They've gotten the ball to five different receivers so far in this ball game, Bob, Brett. Yep, yep, they're mixing it up well. Here comes Staley trying to get to the corner, and the corner is a hard spot. And so some guys are hurt. Young guys have to step up. BYU's run 21 plays. They have 23 yards. Now they've run 22 plays. In far anyway, he got hit after the incomplete pass right in the head by Bradley Jennings, who was covering on the play. So McDonald takes his spot on a third and long. Peterson. Lost one, and it's caught by Great his tight catch. end. What a catch Great by Opa Hengawi, the veteran tight end. I love that view from the end zone. That was pretty. Peterson, short drop, long pass. Intended for hooks and incomplete. Second down and ten. Looking forward to seeing Carson Palmer. Almost intercepted by Cody. They picked on him a moment ago. They've been in third and long all night long. Peterson. Trying to buy himself some time. Throws off his back foot. Completes it. Brian McDonald trying to do something with it. He maybe got two yards. To Cougar territory. And he might have an opportunity to do so again. Floats the punt down to the 21. Bolden to about the 31. 10-yard return. Good kick. 
at the 31 yard line. Flags fly. <laughs> Ball start. Offense. Well, maybe we'll do that again. Yeah. Still first down. Winky's got him regrouped. There's the penalty situation. Winky throws out. Got a man open. Under through Minnis a little bit, but he makes a nice diving catch. And a little bit. Raw play this time. You can see the coverage on that last play. Exactly. And they got four wide receivers in there, so they're pretty good chance that a receiver is going to catch the ball. High snap in the gun. Winky handles it. He's got another one to a wide receiver. Walker's going to have a first down out at the 43-yard line. They got the pressure, but uh, Chris got the ball away. Winky got heat again. Got it completed again. Nicely done. Down at the 45-yard line this time to Tamal, uh, Tallman Gardner. <laughs> Winky. Inside handoff to Travis Miner. Broke a tackle or two, got about four. Going no huddle. Second and six. There's a blitz. Walker complete short of the first down. And then they'll call the play at the line. They do bring in a tight end Sprague here. And up the middle is the fullback McCray, and they are going to love to see that. So a first down on the run to the 25 by the Florida State fullback. And now back to the air they go. In and out of the hands of Minnis. He was thinking where he was going. And 22 to nothing for the defending national champs. Wanky play fake. Throwing the out. Nice stretch by Bell to make the catch. Now they're inching up. Here comes a blitz. First down at the 14. Wanky throws it near side. Bell, the intended receiver, incomplete at single coverage. Because he's got to have confidence they can out jump these small cornerbacks and make the catch. Up the middle they go to McCray again. And every time the fullback handles it on a third and four. Here they come. Here they come. Wanky. Pump fakes. That was too much time. And Nolly got him from the backside. So Matt Munyon's going to have a field goal attempt of 34 yards. Okay. We're done. And missed it to the left. And that's going to be one of the one of those years for Bobby. Well, it could be. He's had wide right too many times. He had Sebastian Janikowski, and now he's missed an extra point and a field goal in the half. BYU after the missed field goal will work from the 20, and Peterson falls down on his way back to set up in the pocket. And it's going to be quite a it's year off. for our kickers unless somebody comes to the forefront. Oh, and so far they've had all kinds of problems in preseason. you got to know how much you can kick and how much when to rest. So there could be two or three guys trying to fill Janikowski's spikes over the course of the year. Peterson throws on the run. Got his tight end again across the 40. Tavita. Four kids. <laughs> He's the wife and four kids. He's 26 years old. He's almost as old as Winky. <laughs> Peterson got some pressure and got knocked down as he let go of that one. Jamal Reynolds. Stearns and Snowden a dual backfield. Here comes a blitz. Down goes Peterson. Malcolm Tatum. Again, the pressure coming. Peterson gets away. He's going to try to pick up what he can on the run. And now laterals it. Got it to Sataki, and they got it to the 49-yard line. They're only about four yards short of the first down. Going to try to get a return for Anquan Bolden. They're going to try to keep it out of his hands as the kick goes out of bounds. Second guessing everybody. He's been undefeated for two years. <laughs> That's right. Here's the inside handoff. Florida State not getting anything there. Jeff Cheney couldn't give the Knowles a scare last year when Daddy met son. Here's Cheney giving some ground on the outside. Boy, oh, made a sandwich of him at the 15-yard line. Right? Long way to go, though. Still have the second half. The final 30 seconds here of the first half. Cheney again. And 25 seconds remaining. Is Performing talking. He looks very calm in the pocket, making good decisions. Well, he is calm, and uh, and uh, we're getting him a lot of work. And uh, But he is a calm individual, and I think you see it right now. At the 37, BYU still got a few ticks left to play with. Trying to throw a crossing pattern to their fullback, and Sataki just flat dropped it. It's 11 seconds away. Peterson again flushed to his left. I think we're going to have a holding call. He's intercepted. Picked off by Hudson. Hudson, the linebacker, coming the other way. Breaks a tackle, and he's all the way to the 25-yard line. 
28 yard return to expire the half. Holding on the offense. The penalties decline. They decline a penalty half that'll time. end the half. So the interception will stay as the score will remain the same. Halftime 22 to nothing. As we go to Times Square Stadium, our guys at the Valvoline Halftime, John and Terry. Hotchman's kick. Good one. And good enough that Florida State will have to work from the 20. Chris Wanky will gear him up from the 20-yard line. They'll go on the ground to Travis Miner. Dances back to the line of scrimmage, and that's about all. I go get you, Mike, but uh, not any longer. They've played Washington in, in the past and a bunch of other tough teams. Wanky almost intercepted. Justin Enna, and it's third and ten. BYU would love to get a defensive stop on the opening series of the third quarter. Wanky throw in. Oh, a one-handed catch almost. Morgan just kept looking for it, and a punt. Cottrell. Nice high kick. Regal comes up on it. It's going to be a flag as the special teams player as Florida State covers it. Rufus Brown did not give him enough room to make. When there's not, when there are. BYU takes over. Brett Engelman at quarterback again. He started the game. He'll work from the 45 yard line. Best starting field position of the night. Sataki, the fullback, is going to make that field position even a little better out near. Sat out 98 after a transfer, a couple yep. seasons in Ann Arbor. Talk about injury problems, they got some early too. Okay. Intercepted, overthrown, and picked off. Cleavon Thomas had a gift there. Ball oh, looked like it was deflected. And Florida State takes over now in BYU territory at the 49. Chris Wanky, nice play, fake, sets up deep and goes down deep. Wow. Our Dell game solutions early on. A couple tonight in the opener. Second down, 21 now. From the gun, Winky, quick throw. And he threw a little bit low, and having to go to a knee was Javon Walker. Just don't make a bad play out of it, and he didn't do that by taking the sack, and sometimes sometimes you can't do things. Anquan Bolden is going to try to do something on his own here. They just throw him a little quick in. Another nice kick. Fair catch. Florida State almost got there. Touchback. They have struggled offensively. They had one good looking drive early in the first quarter. Angleman from the shotgun. On the roll. Got a man open across the field and found it. Penalty marker down. Look maybe like Jarrell Hudson got over there and hit him as he let go of the football. They, don't, they hate him on offense. Yeah. First down at the 46. Angleman. Steps in, fires, in and out of the hands. Maybe should have been caught by Regal. Oh, no. Second down and 10. Nice play fake by Brett Engelman. Now sets up, is going long. He's got a man out there who stumbled and couldn't quite make the catch. Ben Horton, had he not tripped, eighth time, third and 10 or more for BYU tonight. It is a third and 10 from the 46-yard line. Engelman, little stunt coming from the defense, and they got him. They got to make decisions quicker than that. Bruises that go along with it. Bad snap. Edmonds just got it away. And a penalty marker down. I think they're roughing the punter, but Holtree, who was the snapper, was hurt. That punt and shouldn't be uh, roughing the punter penalty. The officials are disagreeing. Let's see if we can see if they, anybody touches the ball. Can't tell from there, really, but that that is definitely roughing the, roughing the punter. Looking for points. Engelman across the middle's got hooks on a crossing pattern and margin hooks down to the 35. That's a pickup of 16 and a first down. And Florida and Georgia Tech. Right. And, uh, and you emulate those things. Horton in motion. Engelman throws. And a flag's going to fly, and that's going to be pass interference, I would think. Penalty, I pass think. Pass interference. Defense. Spot foul. Automatic first down. Not be aggressive and not have any penalties. Pittman in motion. First down, BYU. Engelman trying to scramble for some yardage. Gets swallowed under Chris Woods. Second down and nine. Engelman from the shotgun. And who back? Prior to the snap, ball start. Offense, five yards. Still second down. Second and 14. Engelman lofts one out. It's under thrown. 
Brad Hooks brought it down. First down near the 10 yard line. Right there. Horton in motion. Angerman lofts it out, intended for Peterson. Penalty marker down. See if he was caught holding. Nope, it's going the other way. McDonald and Sataki behind Engelman. Two tight ends set, lone wide outs, Jonathan Pittman. Florida State showing blitz. They back out of it. Engelman's in trouble anyway. Prior to the ball being snapped, we have a delay of game. Offense, five-yard penalty. Still first down. A lot of garnet and gold. And they really came to life for their defense, trying to make it hard for BYU to hear down on this end of the field. From the shotgun. Engelman heat again, flag again. Fire to the snap. Ball start. Offense. Oof. Five yard penalty. Still first down. McDonald late to trot over to flank his quarterback in the gun. Florida State may have been offside that time. I don't see a flag though. Engelman picks it up and fires. Got it complete. Ned Stearns. How about that? But he lost the ball. Florida State's got it. their own 13-yard line. And McCray. Wanky comes up fire and complete out to Minnis. And looks like he's got a first down. At the Tough learning curve. Wanky throwing deep. Got Minnis again. Out of bounds at the 45. And now you'll hear Snoop. Continue to go to their wideouts and uh, mixing it up well as Chris Wanky got four of them out there right now from the gun at the 45 of the Cougars. Has time to scan the field. This one off the fingertips. And Wanky. That one was caught twice out there inside the 40. Third down. And a long four. They need to get to the 35 of the Cougars. Here they come. Here's Bolden in motion. Winky getting some heat from behind. Got it to Bolden. Ball is stripped out of there. Incomplete. Nice job defensively. Half the punt. That seems to be where they're punting to for BYU. High lazy kick. Let's see Florida State trying to cover it. It gets a Florida State bounce. And BYU is going to be in a big hole at about the two-yard line. 37-yard kick. He was the one that kind of changed the college game in a lot of ways today in Miami. And I Give Lavelle a lot of credit for that. Here's a throw from the end zone. And almost caught out there by Jonathan Pittman. It's, it's, you're right. I, I think um, uh, Bob said it very well, that they have a lot of things to learn today. And you have to learn very quickly at BYU. Here's a give. Brian McDonald. And McDonald squirts out of there. And he might have a first down. Give him a little bit of breathing room. Throw the ball every down. I mean, every down, no matter if you're behind or ahead. And it really did change the college game. And I think that... Uh, you look at the guys at a quarterback. Um, you know. And in the passing game, which he knew inside and out, was their edge uh, against other teams. That pass. Not a question. I mean, it was the way that we won, uh, seemed like every division. Uh, third down and 10. Right now, Brett Engelman would just like to improve his pass efficiency on this play. Van Horton in motion. Engelman stands tall down the middle and got it complete. Margin hooks, and it looks like it's good enough for a first down. I Everybody's remember. open in college, but when you go pro, it seems like no one's open. I remember those days. Slip screen <laughs> what, is what, what incomplete. A, margin hooks. You make sure you learn the pro game as quickly as possible, because if you don't, they'll throw you out of town. <laughs> and so you got to beat it. you got to beat the clock. Draw play, and that one's going nowhere for Ned Stearns. <laughs> yeah, he is. Number 36, my dad's old number. There's Engelman under a blitz. Throws, got a man complete out to the 40-yard line. Jonathan Pittman. It's as close as he is going to get today. <laughs> Here's first down from the 40. Angerman off a play fake. Lobs, it's got a wide open tight end. Opa Hingawe still going. And it's down to about the 33-yard line. And Steve, right now, engerman has got a little bit of something going on. He's <laughs> yelling at the rookie quarterback in the sidelines in the state. <laughs> That's how those defensive guys are. You know that. Engelman waits and then lofts it and incomplete and a flag flies in. I don't know if Joby, so I mean, <laughs> he never gets happy. Yard penalty. And it is a holding automatic call and an automatic first down. Now at the 23. 
As Steve Young mentioned, 312 games without a shutout. Pass incomplete. Watching his team with a second and ten right now. Draw play. Sataki. Whew. Tommy Polly says hello. Both wide outs to the near side. I'd like to get it to Hooks. Here comes heavy pressure. Just throwing it up. Incomplete as Engelman falling down as he backpedaled. An offensive lineman stepping on the foot or the back. Well, let's break that scoreless thing right now. 312 games without being shut out. Owen Potchman from 42 yards can keep the longest streak in college football alive. And he got it. With Steve Young along for the ride, Potchman makes it 22 to 3. And Potchman will kick Nick Maddox, Jeff Cheney back deep to receive. And it's Maddox about seven yards deep. He said, uh, Brian having fun, and you said he's having a lot more fun with Terrell Davis behind him, right? <laughs> That's for sure. Here's Travis Minor out of the backfield, and penalty markers fly late into the backfield. Ten crew. Holding. Offense. Penalty is declined. Second down. Yep. But he can ground the ball to avoid a loss of yardage. That was lost yardage by Miner, but it was the first pass completion also to a non-wide receiver. They go right back to the wide outs. Nice move by Minnis. Puts a little shake on there. I did one of the games that Peter Wark missed last year, and Chris Wanky had 11 different receivers in that ball game. That was against Miami. And this time his arms hit as he throws, and Miner still made the catch, but loses yardage going out of bounds. Going to be a completed pass, but a loss. You've got to get a break on special teams. Here's Regal from the 42. And he is almost going to get into Florida State territory. <laughs> oh, is he a piece of work? Uh -huh. <laughs> Engelman uh -huh. in the pocket looking for some help. And fumble. That ball was dead. That's just a piece of our conversation with Hans Olsen. We've got more in the fourth quarter, which is winding close. Here's Hooks. Did he catch it, drop it, and get it? Nope, they're going to say incomplete. Flags fly before the snap. Substitution infraction on the offense. Broke the huddle with 12 players. Five-yard penalty. Still third down. There's, and this one has backed him up to a third and 16 in the waning seconds of the third quarter. They trail 22 to 3. Hangeman stands and waits and throws an interception. Picked off by Derek Gibson going the other way. Gibson down to the 32-yard line, and that ends that Cougar threat. And it also ends the third quarter. 22 to 3 at the end of the third. An ABC Sports presentation of the Advantage Pigskin Classic will continue after this message and a word from our ABC stations. Atrus Bell scored on an end around, and they scored a safety. And here's another reverse. This time Gardner. Broke one tackle, but doesn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Picks it off. Rank Winky down the middle and caught. Sprague the tight end. Just inside the 20-yard line. Florida State was shut out in that third quarter. That doesn't happen often. Blitz. Take the pitch and look out. Oh, got sandwiched back there. I hated that one. When, whenever the defense had a blitz, a knock to huddle. They can do it very nicely from the, from the this time they fake the end around and Miner keeps it on the sweep and he's knocked down on his tracks. I'll tell you, and this defense is really playing well. Third down and 18. They're showing blitz. They nope. back out of it. And here comes the pressure anyway. Winky, they got him. Drop back at the 31. And Cottrell into punt. Going to try to keep one high in the air off the side of his foot. It's not a good kick unless it takes a great bounce. It's not a good kick. As they work just inside the 24-yard line. Keep it on the ground. And that netted them about two, maybe three. Second down and seven. Both wide outs to the near side for Peterson, but they'll keep it on the ground again, and it's Brian McDonald again. Remember, Staley, their starting tailback. We had 15 third down situations. 12 have been third and 10 or more. This you're, is not, their, you're not going to make many of those. No, this is their shortest one of the night, in fact. Peterson. Steps and waits, incomplete, had time to throw. Pulled one back there last time. This one's a little bit high, but he manages it. End over end punt. And it's going to go out of bounds. Bolden will not have an opportunity to return it. 
Florida State trying a little inside draw play to Davey Ford that went no where at all and five punts on five possessions so they have sputtered in the second half Wanky comes up firing he's got Walker and Walker will improve those totals as he gets it in be interesting to see what Joe uh, Paterno and Penn State have up there this year mm -hmm. second down at four if Wanky throws incomplete. Bolden was open. We need a break on the sideline right. because if you're not successful keeping the ball, you know we're back right. We're right back out there. He's going deep. Got a man out there. Flag down. Caught it anyway. Caught it anyhow. And it's Menace again. And that will put him over 100 yards. He was center for Snoop Menace. Defense. Huddley has declined. Result of the play. Eighth catch for Menace for 129 yards. First and goal, Florida State. Wanky to throw again. Scans the field, goes to the corner, incomplete. You know, four wideouts. And now they'll empty the backfield as Cheney is in motion. They're going to swing it out, try to get it to Bolden. Just can't quite get it in his hands. Third and goal at the nine. Here they come. BYU is going to bring some pressure. I think he's got to get rid of it, and it's incomplete. They did a nice job because he missed one earlier. He missed an extra point earlier, and he'll line up 27 yards from the right hash mark, trying to get his first field goal. And he missed that one, too. That's going to drive that coach crazy this week. His team still has not scored in the second half. And BYU has only a field goal to show for their efforts tonight. Here's Peterson going deep for hooks. Triple coverage. Ball batted in the air. Incomplete. Three guys out there. He wears 86 because at one time he was a wide receiver and a kicker. And he's just playing wide. Yeah. Here's a toss. BYU on the ground with Marcus Whalen. Bobby realizes that uh, he doesn't have the luxury. He says every time we start the ball game now, we're about 20 yards behind because Chandler Couch used to put it out of the end zone right. each time. Pull the groin muscle, and he's going to be out a few more days, maybe even weeks, so their kicking problems may continue. That pass almost intercepted. So two tight ends set here, and they'll keep it on the ground. Stearns met by a swarm of garnet and gold. Third down and 11. Peterson from the shotgun with three wide receivers. They almost got to have this one. Look out. Oh. Leveled by Alonzo Jackson. Yep. You have to know how much time you have. Florida State, five sacks, four takeaways tonight. Here's the punt. Bolden trying to shag it down on the far side and can't get there. At its own 38. See if Winky can get this offense geared up again here near the end of the ball game. He's firing complete. Robert Morgan. Morgan. Here's a toss. Travis Miner across midfield. And Travis goes to about the 48 yard line. And at the 47, first down. Winky waits too long. Down he goes from behind. Brett Kiesel's got another one. Second and 16. Nice play fake by Winky. Watch it all. Going long. Bell's up there. Penalty markers down. And we're going to have pass interference. There it is. Florida State's throwing the ball 48 times. BYU's throwing it 46. Winky's going to do it again. Incomplete. You know, you actually have to wonder, as ridiculous as this sound in week one, if Florida State only puts 22 points on the board, do some people think they're not even worthy of where they're supposed to be? There are going to be some people that think that now. Well, you got a bunch of new guys. And Nebraska's got a lot of guys back on offense and a great quarterback. So uh, Nebraska has more starters back on both sides of the ball. There was even a rumor that floated around Lincoln that there were T-shirts that... Nebraska was wearing saying Florida State anytime any place and that is proven apparently to be a falsehood second down to nine on the corner a pretty good run by Travis Miner but they came out they're gonna win the football game and uh, they almost scored right there with their fullback McCray Georgia Tech that that team is you know is done don't be surprised here's Travis Miner got the corner Touchdown! Travis 
Travis Miner. Five-yard touchdown run. Allen is Travis Miner. Extra point. Bunyan's got it up and good. As we go down to Swanee. I'm such a great person for college football. Thank, Thank, you, Thank you very much. Thank you. Short kick. Taken at the 15 by Peterson. Fumble. Who's on top of it at the 30-yard line? And they did. Fireworks, for the most part, have belonged to Florida State. 29-3 to here with just over a minute remaining in the ballgame. And up the middle, whew, still some tagging going on. There's some backup players in there. Peterson on a handoff. And only out to... And his opening game of his 29th and final season did not go the way he had hoped. Bobby Bowden wins it over his old buddy. 29-3 is the final score.